you are welcome back to Quest for Glory, so you want to be a hero. Last we left off, really hadn't done much of anything. I've done quite a bit of training. Killed a couple of trolls. Sold their beards. Now I need to decide whether I'm going to go to Baba Yaga's. I think I'm going to go to Baba Yaga. The Baba Yaga or the the Baron, but mm. not Baron, a uh, Baronet. But feck it. Who needs him? All right. around you get the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You had to deal with me before you can enter. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. You're so stupid that you want to enter. Perhaps we can make a deal. Baba Yaga is the most powerful ogress around. If you have any brains, you'll stay far away from her. He's some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. Baba Yaga's up will squat if you say the rhyme. That will squat if you say how to brown now sit down. All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No, I don't need lovely glowing eyes. I just open and close the gate, that's all I'm good for. Give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. We have a... Well, is it a deal or isn't it? Yes. All I ask is... All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. Skulls on the top of the fence have eerie glowing eyes. The large skull on the fence seems to stare blankly at you. Green slime dripping off the fence top makes you realize that climbing is not a good idea. You place the glowing gem inside the skull. I can see! I have eyes again! Yeah, Is that what you look like? Oh well, have fun visiting Baba Yaga. Good luck, you'll need it. Hope you can remember the rhyme. Oh, you hear a voice in your head asking, what is the rhyme? Out of brown, now sit down. Visitor. Powers of night, shadows of day, heed now my words, henceforth you stay. Your body is frozen by the power of the witch's spell. Well, dearies, what shall we have for supper today? Hero sandwiches? I have something more formal in mind. Ah, that's it. Frog legs fricassee. Now, how does that spell go? 
Hear me, O oh powers of Clutha and Mana. Turn now my guest into a species called Rana. I learned that spell from Erasmus, kids. Doesn't it look delicious? Be still! Critics, well, we can't all be gourmets, I suppose. Now, oh, soon-to-be supper, I don't suppose you have a name. Oh, I do. You try your best to croak out your name, or at least let the witch know that you do indeed have one. If you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. So you're the one who's trying to be a hero around here. Well, the only good hero is a dead hero, I always say. But I do have need for a brave fool. Are you brave? I came in here, didn't I? You make little froggy sounds, trying to your best to indicate your agreement. Well... If you're willing to do me a small little teensy favor for me, I might reconsider having you for supper. I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Will you be a sweet and fetch me some? Anything but frog leg fricassee, you think? You croak your agreement to the task. I had my mouth watering for frog. Oh well. Hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled at precisely midnight. This I tell you and this I say. Return with the root ere the break of next day. Hear what I say and no I don't lie. Bring back the root or else you will die. You chew. From a distance you hear the witch in tone. Oops, I very nearly forgot. Hear me, O oh powers of mana and more. Turn this fool back as he was before. As you contemplate the occurrence of the last few minutes, you conclude that you'd better find a mandrake root for Baba Yaga. And fast. It's fine. Now we just need to waste some time. Would not recommend doing that twice. Not in my current state, anyway. Now I'm just too bloody impatient. Would you stop it? Mm 
There's something I can do now that I think about it. Stop hissing! Cockily, you loosen up the fight. Confident and loose, you approach the Antwerp. Holy mackerel! You seem to have caused an Antwerp population explosion! Bouncy baby Antwerps are also cute, you can't inter bring yourself to interfere with their playing. You'd think you get points for that, but no. Apparently not. Okay, a little bit closer. Very you have a bad feeling about this place. You have an even worse feeling about this place. One bad dude. Yet another brigand archer. If these guys shoot it at all well, you soon will be impeccably dressed in your arrow shirt. Yet another brigand archer, and this one's wearing his archery merit badge. Brigand ground fighter. A Zulu warrior? Perhaps a refugee from Quest for Glory 3, The Wages of War. Yet another brigand archer! Don't these guys know overkill when they see it? A brigand archer, from what you can see, you realize that you are in a very dangerous situation. Yep, I'm leaving. Another one, eh?
Who wants a piece? Come on. I'm a fighter. I like to fight. I need to fight. Night is still young. Let us spin, then, you and I, when the evening sky is buried beneath the sky. It must be Tease Elliot, the ghost poet. Ah. Now's the time. Let's rub this all over ourselves. You feel a tingling sensation as you rub the ungent all over your body. It appears that the spirits frolic here during the dark hours. You see transparent decaying, writhing, slimy, undead fragments of undulating ectoplasm. I do believe in spooks, I do believe in spooks, I do believe in spooks, I do believe in spooks. The red root growing out of the grave has a strange and evil appearance. You wrench the mandrake root from the tombstone of which it has grown. You hear a scream like that of a dying child as you yank the root from the ground. This lady is as lovely, as lovely as she lost along, but we beware her fatal touch. Now, boys. So you made it back, did you? She's expecting you. Pleasant for, for her to have to deal with the jumping down from the cliff like that. <laughs> Back so soon? Spirits of mist and creatures of, bro of bog transform my guest to the shape of a frog. 
This I vow. Stay there now. Once again, you're a frog, and once again, you can't move. You find it very exasperating. Yum, yum. Froggy frappe. Did you bring me my mandrake root? Like you promised? As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. Well, where is it? What's the matter? Got a frog in your throat? Well, I suppose I'll have to turn you back into whatever it is that you were. Pity, you're much more appetizing this way. Creatures of bog and spirits of fog return the true form to this rather dumb frog. Now, did you put it in your backpack? Ah, here it is! Kids, we have it! That's it, the final ingredient. Now we can make our greatest creation. Mandrake Moose! What's that, children? You think we should reward our lackey here? Very well, ex-frog. I'll let you live this time. Next time, though, it's frog legs for sure. So go. What an awful creature to turn me into a frog, you say to yourself. Someday I must return the favor. And someday we will. I need to get the Arana's piece so I can get some sleep. What did it say? Shit. For fuck's sake. Sleep, 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 sleep now. Sleep really good because now Mark Ink turned into a frog. That didn't rhyme. But oh well. The ogre is a, carrying a massive chest, carrying a chest in his massive arms. The ogre isn't in a bad mood. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My head. Ugly dead ogre here. A search of the dead ogre produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he was carrying lies beside his body. The dead ogre's club is much too heavy for you to lift. You force the ogre's chest open. The dead ogre's chest contains one gold and 43 silver, which you take and put away.
As your eyes adjust from sunlight to darkness, you examine the interior of this eerie cavern. You sense something moving off to your right. On one side of this cavern is a creature which looks like a large bear. There's something attached to his leg. The bear looks menacing and angry. There's a locked chain attached to his leg. You have made this bear very happy. It would be wise to take advantage of his current mood. This section of the cave is an eerie quality. You see a kobold resting on a ledge across from you. A strange creature is dressed in ragged clothing. It is large, pale eyes, and must have spent its entire life in the caves. A large brass key hangs from the th from a thong around the creature's neck. I'm sorry, a thong? No! You go! You no stay here! See a large brass key lying on the ground. A faint glow emanates from the key. You retrieve the dropped key. It's my health. Not bad. I think I can deal with what I need to do. I can find it. those who are not familiar with this game, there is a treasure chest in here. It's invisible. So you need to bump into it. into something on the floor. It feels like a large wooden chest, but you don't see anything there. You pry at the seal of the chest and... Wow, the chest must have been booby-trapped. You can really feel the damage from the blast. You had 10 gold and 60 silver coins to your money pouch. disappears as you turn it in the lock. You have the honor of meeting the Baron and Bernard von Spielberg. We are pleased that you broke our enchantment. Perhaps our father the Baron will reward you should you ever visit our castle. The arrogance of the Baronet astonishes you. Perchance the kobold magic user had a reason for changing him into a bear. Alright, let's.
let's head to the uh, castle and collect our reward. It's just walk on my feet, that's fine. You only got to weigh a few hundred pounds, right? Come in, come in. You've been expected. Baron von Spielberg awaits you in the castle. I'm going to get all the points. I'm going to need to have to beat the Weapon Master at some point. Could be tricky. The Baron von Spielberg and the Baronet await you in the Great Hall. Words cannot express the gratitude I express... Words cannot express the gratitude I have toward you. Not only have you freed my son, the Baron... Not only have you freed the Baronet from enchantment and allowed my son to return to me, but you have renewed my hope that the curse may be lifted. My son, Baronet Bernard von Spielberg, also desires to acknowledge his indebtedness. Bernard? We, uh, that is, I, am appreciative of your efforts on my be upon my behalf. Furthermore, I understand you have rid our valley of a dangerous kobold magic user in order to free the Baronet von Spielberg. You risked your life to single-handedly defeat the foul spellcaster. You are a true hero, and I thank you. Bernard, I am pleased you managed to kill the kobold. I sincerely hope you will continue your valiant adventures in our land. If anyone can rid the land of the brigands, it will be you. Someday in the near future, I can envision holding a ceremony in your honor and bestowing upon you the title Hero of Spiel. Bernard? It would be nice if someone could finally defeat the brigands and claim the title. As you leave the castle tomorrow, you will receive the reward money I long ago posted for the safe return of my son as a token of my thanks. You will, of course, be expected to dine with us and be our guest in the castle tonight. Do you have any questions? I do. What do you know about these brigands? If I had more guards, I would wipe the brigands out of myself now that I have my son at my side. It takes some time before this castle and land have recovered from my sorrow, so I still think it takes a hero to destroy the brigands. I know they have a some kind of fortress at the far south of the valley. I have heard rumors that they have set up an ambush for all that approach. There's a rumor that there's another way to the fortress, but I have no further knowledge about it. Hmm. Yeah, yada, yada. Brigand leader. There have always been brigands around, but until the leader and the warlock showed up a few years ago, they were not much of a problem. The leader seems to be a brilliant strategist who manages each raid with little loss. Once the leader is gone, I am sure the brigands can be easily defeated. As if this valley hasn't been plagued with enough evil magic users. From what I have heard, his magic isn't very powerful, but is used effectively. Hmm... And what of this curse? Yeah, 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 yeah. Prophecy. Daughter. Yorick. Yorick was my court jester, a man of infinite jest. He went off to find my daughter, but alas, poor Yorick never returned. Lol. Yes, yes, you are. Old. Yada, yada, yada. I really don't care. Neither do you. 
I will soon lead the troops against the brigands and wipe them from this land. Yes. I would prefer not to talk about it. A roast pig awaits you on the sideboard to be your supper. Yum yum. A servant is waiting you outside to show you to your quarters. We will see what supper later. After a wonderful meal with the son, Baron and his son, a peaceful night's sleep in a feather down bed, and a filling breakfast in bed, you are ready to go adventuring once more. Don't get me mad. I'm not talking to you. I swear eventually he says I'm still not talking to you, but whatever. I am the Blues 32. This is Quest for Glory, so you want to be a hero. TTFN. Stop that for